We're almost at the end of our project now. But if you're using the on-screen keyboard like this one here, you might see an annoyance. <laughs> Once the keyboard's appeared for the check amount, it never goes away. Like I, I can press return on my keyboard here, nothing happens. Uh, there's no return on the soft keyboard. I can change tip amount. I can go to member people. The keyboard always stays, it's very annoying. This is a problem with the decimal and num uh, number keypads because the regular alphabetic keypad has a done button. So you can dismiss the keyboard. We haven't got one here. However, with a little bit of extra work, we can fix it here too. First, we've got to give SwiftUI some way of determining whether the check amount text box should currently have what we call focus. Is it receiving user input right now or not? And second, we've got to add a button somewhere on, on the screen that will remove that focus when we say, like this text field no longer has focus, which will in turn mean the keyboard will go away. Now to solve this first one, you've got to meet your second property wrapper called at focus state. This is exactly like a regular at state property, except it's designed to handle input focus for our UI. And so we'll say a new property at focus state private var amount is focused bool like that. And now we can attach that to our text field. So Swift UI will know when the text field is focused, amount is focused should be true. Otherwise, amount is focused should be false. So we'll say below keyboard type dot focused is bound to amount is focused. Read write. When it's selected, it'll be true. Otherwise, make it false. That is the first part of our problem solved. Although we can't see anything different, SwiftUI knows behind the scenes it's focused or not focused. The second part of our solution is to add a toolbar to the keyboard when it appears. So we can place a little done button in there that'll hide the keyboard. Now to make this work really well, you're going to meet a few new SwiftUI views back to back. So I think the best way of doing this is to show you the code and then walk it through afterwards. Add this new code directly below the navigation title modifier for your form. We'll say dot toolbar has a toolbar item group placement of dot keyboard button done amount is focused equals false. Yes, that's quite a lot of code. Let's break it down. First up, this is a new modifier called toolbar, which lets us specify toolbar items for a view. These might be in the navigation bar at the top, in a special toolbar area at the bottom, or somewhere else. Inside there comes a toolbar item group, and that's where we place buttons for our toolbar. And here we say specifically, these buttons should be in the keyboard which means there's a toolbar attached to the keyboard, it'll slide in with the keyboard, showing our buttons, and then go away once the keyboard goes away. So we aren't keeping space on screen all the time, just when the keyboard is visible. Inside there is a button, a tappable piece of input. It'll display this text, done, and we we'll give it a closure to run when the button's pressed, which in our case sets amount is focused to be false. So the keyboard will be dismissed. You're gonna meet all of these things more in the future, but for now, I recommend you try running the program. Hopefully, this should be a big improvement. Let's find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify uh, this check amount here. And you'll see done appears straight away. I'll type in here, uh, work out, I'm gonna use this keyboard now, <laughs> 35, then press done, and away it goes. A big improvement. We can just do slightly better, just slightly better. There's another new Swift UI view I want to show you, and it's really, really small, but it makes this whole thing nicer. Before the button in our toolbar item group, add spacer. Just that. And this adds one small but important new view called spacer, which is a flexible space, which means when you place it next to other views, it'll automatically take up the space and push those views 
to the right or to the left or up or down, depending on where you use them. Now, in our case, we have a toolbar of items. One item right now. So the spacer comes with four done, it'll push the done button over to the right side of the screen. So there's nothing on the left and done just by itself on the right. And that's intentional. That is actually a fairly common convention using other apps. Here we go, there's done. For example, Safari, you know, type it into a text box, it'll have done on the right hand side. So it's a system convention. It looks much, much better here. I know it's a minor change, but where possible, if you can, adopt these conventions. Make your app look and work like the rest of iOS. Anyway, that was the last step in this project. I hope you can pat yourself on the back because we're finished.